This is from Seek Thermal. This is for their iOS devices. This is a thermal camera. So this is not going to be a regular camera that's going to take pictures and do all the fancy. This one is only going to show you heat. So think like 1980s Predator movie. Why would you need one of these? Well, if you're in the trades at all, if you do construction or any other sort of trades, uh, plumbing, electrical especially, even automotive, and you want to know, you know, if there's a hot spot in an exhaust or something going on, we're going to do a quick unbox here. So uh, it does have a small user manual. This is the device that comes right here. Now, what they've done to save is they've actually integrated it with iPhone. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug this into your iPhone device and or if you have an Android, there's versions for Android. So it wants to open Seek Thermal. I'm going to say allow. Now you can see that I've instantly got a thermal camera picture of my face. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. It does not just uh, for Halloween or other things. So there's what my little GoPro is getting nice and warm. You can actually tap on whatever it is and get an instant temperature readout. So if you're doing AC work, and there's all my studio and all the hot devices. There's my AC up there, my AC unit. And you can see the refresh rate, it's not super fast. I got an ultra wide monitor, it's a little warmer in the middle. There's the upper above camera that you're seeing and my wiring. If any of my wiring was warm, it would show, hey, there's a little, little bit of a hot spot on one of my AC adapters there. Now it does have a, a focus ring, so you can actually turn this to get focused a little bit. But again, this is picking up the thermal spectrum, not the visual spectrum. Just a quick uh, mention on how it installs, super easy, just plug it in the bottom, we install the thermal app. Uh, there's many different kinds of screens, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, so you can have different color ranges. It gets, I believe it's down in like the 40s, negative 40s to like 650 degrees is the, the thermal range on it. You can install it forward or backwards when you're on iPhone. To make it easier to control, they'll install it and they'll run it upside down. So you're gonna be running like this when you're walking around with it. See that light? Remember that light bulb, that incandescent light bulb, you can do that. Um, I can also show you the different thermal pictures that it has. Now I might want to come up here and adjust the focus on it. So there we go, the light bulb's in a lot better focus when I do that. But then I can come down here and I can adjust the different thermal ranges. So you can see that I can have just the hot items shown. I can have just a glow here, you know, in different color ranges. I can say, show me the highest and the lowest. You know, one is going to be in an amber color, one's going to be in a cold color. Uh, you know, all that kind of infrared look. So it's got a lot of those capabilities. I'll show you some pictures that I was able to take with this unit. Uh, I bet you can't guess who that is. That's my daughter. <laughs> so she's sitting at the table and you can see what is warm and what is not. She was sitting there reading uh, on a tablet and there's my living room. And you can see again, her, some of the backdrop in the living room, uh, things that were warm in the room. This one is a little bit trickier. This is actually the thermal view of my little network rack my network cabinet and I tried a couple different views. You'll see it, that's what it looks like normally. In a thermal view, it looks like this. You can actually see the thermal output of something. So this, you can't tell what's running and what's not. In this view, you absolutely can see what the hottest device in there is my tough switch, it's called. Uh, and it's, it's sandwiched in between those two devices. So I know that that's what's going on there. So there's the side-by-side -side view of it for anybody that might be interested. That's the difference that you get. So the Seek Thermal Camera. So this one is going to have a 206 by uh, 156. That's about 32K pixels. So not a lot of pixels, but to be honest, when you're looking for thermal hotspots, you don't need super high resolution. You're not taking, uh, you know, photos with this for, for posterity. It does come with a key ring, so you could hook this on to maybe even a set of keys. It is very, very small. That's how small it is compared to my hands. This will fit in here and stay protected because it is a very expensive device. You can go ahead and put that in there. You could put the key ring around the outside and then you could loop that on your keys and you could have a thermal camera whenever you need it. So that's another very neat product and that's from the Seek Thermal Company.